Welcome guys, Jay here. After reviewing the RG35XX and doing a comparison video with the Miu Mini Plus, you would say a budget retro gaming dedicated handheld of 2023, there were a few comments regarding that the RG35XX does not support Wi-Fi, so how would you be able to get any art on any of these game titles? Using the custom built OS, Garlic OS by Black Sherith to really polish up on how your games are displayed on your new handheld. So here, let's go and show you how to do this step by step. First, I must stress with your SD card packed with your Garlic OS that the ROMs are on there and named properly. This will just help the scraper to get the correct images. Now for the first step, you may be familiar with the software scraper that is available to download for Windows, Linux and Mac. This is a dedicated program for scraping artwork with a lot of customizations for a variety of emulators and different hardware. The RG35XX will need a custom setup for this to work all properly, which I will go into details in this video. If you don't already have scraper setup, head to the website and give this a download. Once downloaded, this is a zip file, so you need to unzip this and place this program folder somewhere familiar. Once that is all done, then give this exe file a double click. To go any further though, this does pop up and you have to create an account, if you don't have one already, obviously, which you will then be directed to their website. Once you are all set up with your account, head back to this part of the video. When pressing next, downloading resources could take a while. This took me about 15 minutes to then get to the next section. Then I would select generic emulation. It will then ask you the destination of where your ROMs are all kept, where you can then place your SD card from the RG into your computer. You may already notice by putting the SD into your computer, there's a few pop-ups. This is because the SD card is split into multiple partitions, where Windows can only read two of these drives available. One of them is where your ROMs are located. Just give them all a close. Now the scraper has already seen what ROM folders are structured on my SD card. But if your console is not shown on the left hand side, then press the plus button shown on the bottom left, where you can select and add any console or add K device. Just for an example, I'm going to scrape images for the MSX console. So I press the MSX tab and then I press the folder button found on the top and right of the screen to locate the MSX ROMs where mine is located on the J drive on the SD card. Yours may be on a different letter. Next up is to head to the game list tab and check that box, select use specific configuration. Then select the top panel to none. And then in the second panel, to no backup, just update. Next, head to the miscellaneous tab and check again the use specific config. This is the type of region that you want your images to be scraped. I personally prefer the PAL region of the game cover ad that was released in the UK, EU and Australia. Then for backup, the next one up, I will then select the NTSC US and then the next one after that, if they don't have that or even if they are region exclusive games to Japanese. Next step is to hit that media tab. Again, hit that use specific box and then select the manual tab on the right hand side. Then press the delete button found on the left hand side. Head to the media type panel just found under this section and then select user preferred in mix. This is where you would then have to load a pre-configured layout file to then each image can be scraped and located properly for the RG35XX. This file can be found in the download link in the description box below. And this was created by the guy who ran the channel OTG Gaming. And thanks to him, I was able to make this video. I recommend checking out his content and this specific video, which is also in the description, which goes into more in-depth details of different types of images and layouts and examples that you can have set up for your RG35XX. So for example, you can have a screenshot or a title and screenshot layout. But personally, I just prefer having the box art. So that is the style and layout I went ahead with making this video. Again, this is a zip file with three files included. So unzip these files and place them in the mixes folder located where you put your scraper program folder. I did place these files earlier on. This is why it's asking me to replace these files. So don't mind that. 
So now we head back to the scraper program and hit that custom mix file box on the right hand side and locate that OTG RG35XX box art dot XML file. Now for a very important part is where the images will be located onto the RG. It is set up to locate them in a specific location already where the scraper automatically puts them on the root of the drive into a media folder and then to an image folder where the RG will not be able to find them. But by simply deleting the media slash image text and place the letters IMGS. So essentially we are all set up and simply make sure you repeat this process every time you want to add another system. But before we hit that scrape button, there is another thing we have to do. Other names and titles of the games are by default located in the center of the screen. We need to move that to the right hand side. So head back to your SD card and locate the folder CFW, which is found in the same drive as where your ROMs are kept. For my instance, this is on the J drive. Then select the skin folder and scroll down and locate the settings.json. This is now kind of sound a bit familiar to my actual name. Now, anyway, the next step, you will need a program installed if you don't have it anyway, called Notepad++, a very popular, simple editing tool. A simple program to download, which you will also find a download link in the description and put this on your PC. Once you've got that all set up, head back to that settings.json file and give that a right click and select edit with notepad plus plus. On the top part, you will see text alignment. Delete that word in the abbreviation marker and replace that with the word left. Then just below, you will see the select the margin and type in the number 300. I did find if you stored a new theme after this process, this will change us back to default. So remember, you have to apply this method again after you've done a new theme. So double check and make sure this is all saved and you're all good now to smash that scrape button at last. Now, because you are only scraping the cover image, so just one image per ROM, it's not gonna take too much of a long time. For instance, I've got 529 titles and took just over seven minutes. So make sure that you safely eject this SD card from your PC and let's pop this now into the RG35XX. I essentially repeated this process for each system and with this tasty looking custom theme, this RG is now looking way better. I am like a lot of people are hoping for a Wi-Fi mod to come out one day, but a man can only dream as I do find retro retrievals pretty awesome to get and there is no offline mode that I can tell already in making this video. So again, a big shout out to OTD Gaming, YouTube channel for making this possible for me to do, which of course I am a new subby for. If you haven't checked out my previous videos regarding the initial review of the RG35XX and the Garlic OS installation guide, by all means, links will be provided below if you fancy checking them out. So as always, thanks for watching. And if you liked it, hit that button. If you want to support this channel, click subscribe, leave the comments below, and I'll catch you a lot on the next video.